Hey guys, Botchman25 here playing FSX once again. Today, we will be flying a United Airlines 757 from Shannon International Airport in Ireland to Newark Liberty International. It's basically just New York Airport. This is... Well, no, this actually isn't a route. It's operated from Heathrow, I think. But, you know. I wanted to do this. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a transatlantic flight in a narrow-body aircraft. Yes. This type of aircraft has been dubbed a one of the worst aircraft to fly on. So, uh... Yeah. That's a thing. Stop the push back. Turn. Turn, baby, turn. This is also the longest narrow body jet in the world. If you look at that, you, that does look uh, quite quite long. Also, I'm just going to quickly slow the taxiway. Aircraft. On taxiway. Just because I'm impatient at the moment and I want to get this aircraft off the ground. On taxiway, on taxiway, Does on it... taxiway, on taxiway. There. Now brakes and gun the engine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm... Oh yeah, I should probably set this up. GPS. 36,000. Descend at 3,000 feet per minute. Mark hold, say, 280. Auto throttle arm. Your altitude. And off we go. You can see this also has a more doors than your average narrow body aircraft, say, the 737. Also, it has, you know, quite a short wing compared to, say, Compared to some other aircraft, you know, relative to the length of the fuselage. Rotate. I right, didn't have to use a tail strike prevention skid. Positive rate. Gear up. Flaps up. You can see there is that weird thing with the gear. But there we go. We will just be flying like this for a bit. And uh, speed AP. There we go. It's a bit cloudy in Shannon at the moment by the looks of things. But guys, I'll pause this video here and I'll see you guys once we get to New York. Or Newark, close to. Well, once we begin our descent. I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, we're beginning our descent into Newark by descending to flight level 260. Put that up because I was testing stuff. 260. 26,000. And also, that will be useful because we will need that for spoilers. Oh, no, I didn't copy. Right now, I'm, I don't want to control throttle. Back. More. That will do. <laughs> yeah, that's taking up most of the surface area of the wing. Well, most of the length, sorry. And this, I'll well, fight, you know. Well, let me try this again. United Airlines does fly 757s from Newark. I know. Because I was checking Sky Scanner. Also, this is the aircraft Trump owns. Or at least something like this. Did I pull those in? Oh. Christ, no. Under them. Out. See? 
That's better. Pause. Mother. I think I got the radio thing just at the same time as I... Well, you know, as I decided to... Try to do something. As I tried to switch back. So, tune contact. Boston Center. Roger. Yada, yada, yada. Actually, yeah. Let me just check something. Change fuel. It actually has fuel! I did not expect that. I thought it would be out of fuel. Yeah. Realistic. It seems. Well, now you're telling me to the sun. Bastard. Alright. Twenty thousand to send to three thousand. Yeah, I s I find it really un. Crap, cancel. Find it unbelievable that. No, oh, yeah, I should probably do this. Find it unbelievable that they, uh, you know, there are narrow-body aircraft being used for intercontinental flights. That, to me, is just sounds so absurd. Because, you know... Hold on, let me just pull this in. Whoop. Because, you know, to me, they are only really comfortable on for short flights. So, for example, you know, a two-and-a-half or three-hour flight to Hungary from Dublin. But, you know, on an eight-hour flight? I mean, come on. Uh, you know... That would be a bit of a no-no. Did I miss a handoff? By any chance? Oh god, 6,000? That's a... Right, so New York, it's... It is one of the airports for New York City. Well, that is a really a drop. So it's one of the airports that serve New York City, but it isn't actually located in New York City. It's located outside of New York and New Jersey. This is considered a business person's thing into New York, a business person's entry. Whereas JFK is one of the posh bastards' entry. Well, I don't know. I read something. That's all I know about this. Well, that's all I know about JFK is that they consider that to be a more... 60 miles! Jesus. Turn left, heading... Two two zero. Let me just set that up, mate. Altitude is fine, so there is no need to turn on any lights just yet. I have done just a single flight off camera to Newark, but I wouldn't bet on it, so. We'll see. Surely we will drop back the same rate normal for me to turn. Option sim rate normal. Right, let's get the uh thing up. Where is it? This. Yeah, I couldn't turn those off. Wait, where were those lights? I found, I think... Or was that on another aircraft? Probably wasn't on another aircraft. I have no clue where they extend here. Seatbelt sign on. Because we are below 10,000 feet. So not landing in the in the posh JFK airport. Oh, posh, I don't know. I've never been there, but and that's a more kind of well designed. So, for example, if you come to Ireland, for example, and you arrive arrive in Dublin, 
example, and you arrive via Aer Lingus, you're going to go through you're going to go through Terminal 2. But if you're flying by Ryanair, you're going to come through Terminal 1, which is an old. Yeah. I thought something popped up, like I have to do something. There's an airport there. I'm presuming that's something to do with Boston. But I wouldn't bet on it, you know. I have no clue where, relative to New York, Boston is. There's JFK. That's not where we're going, though. Is that meant to be clouds or rain? Because to me, that looks like what rain looks like from a distance. Do they really have a blinds in the uh, escape? Em the emergency exits? That's what I'm thinking. Acknowledge the handoff. Chew and contact New York. Time acceleration! Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. Isn't this fun? There's an A321 there. Climbing out of some airport. There's KJFK. La da da. I'm, oh, no, no, wrong button. Everything is fine. Let's do a bit of a speed increase of five knots. We'll slow down once we need. Acknowledge pause options somewhere. Two, four, five, is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see. The nearest right, acknowledge the hand up to McGuire. Mag McGuire, I think that's how you would pronounce that. Actually, yeah, I just I want to quickly check something. All right, there's Newark, so it's actually not. So this is one of those things that is, you know, it's just in New Jersey, right? Did I press something? No, there's... Yeah, there's Newark. And there's Manhattan. I think it's actually... Well, look at this. Oh, no, wait, that's Manhattan. Never mind, that's Brook. That's Brooklyn. But I do believe it's still closer to Manhattan. Other than, uh, KJFK. Right, one, two, three, with you, six thousand. This is quite long, and for, for narrow-body aircraft, the engines are quite large, you know, relative to the fuselage. Keeping an eye on things. Oh, clouds. Dup, dup, dup. So make normal. Acknowledge the turn to three one zero. That's quite a bit of a turn there. Wait, what? Do I not see something? So, all right, that's okay. Like, did I not acknowledge that? I thought I acknowledged that. Right, heading three four zero. Oh, screw you. No, oh. Jesus.
There we go. So JFK is over there ish. I can't tell which bloody one's Manhattan. Oh, come on, that's the heading I just had, you bloody idiot. Heading 310. Send to maintain 1700. Send it 3000 feet per minute. Pop the spoilers. And slow her down to 140 knots. You know, that's my new generic approach speed. 140 knots. It used to be 175 knots. But now it's 140. Hold on. Yeah, not very good at slowing down, is it? Is the... <laughs> You know, this aircraft. And we are descending fairly quickly. I know why my voice didn't want to work there. Seriously, which one of these bloody islands slash peninsula slash things turn right heading zero one zero? One way four right. Right, what is our altitude? Yeah, we've got another thousand feet to go. Contact New York Tower one one. How are we doing? Set flaps one. And there you go, and a sudden increase in VS. Actually. Fly straight in on my four right. The thing is, I have no clue where this bloody airport is. The thing is, I don't really feel like I need to extend the flaps further yet. You can see we're about to cross this. Uh, well, actually, we're not going to cross the highway or whatever you Americans call it. Most of my viewers are from America, so. Oh, I thought I acknowledged. Never mind. Now I acknowledged. Wait for it. Right, that's Newark there. Right, okay. Flaps 2. Wait, actually, what is the flaps setting called? Yep, it's actually called two. Flaps five. Ten, or fifteen, I'm not sure what's next. Ten. See, the engines are spooling up because we're nearing our approach speed. Fifteen. Twenty-five. Oh, that's the lowest it goes, so the lowest it goes is 25, right. We're also close enough for the, for this weird gear drop animation. See, they kind of stop. I'm not sure if that's what actual 757s do. If that's just an FSX thing. But, no, we maintain this heading for now. This aircraft, to me, looks strange. So it looks like it should be a wide body. But it's not a wide body. It's... It's weird. But that, I mean, you know, how I perceive this to be weird. For right, I'm presuming that's going to be that one. Right, let's see how this aircraft can handle a low speed cutoff. The other thing about this aircraft is it. Boom, boom. I will just turn it back on quickly. Oh, right. <laughs> that didn't really give us much of a. much of an idea. Right, boom. Let it really spool down.
Okay, reignite. Just. I do not want to crash this aircraft. Yeah, that I'm presuming is Manhattan there. Yeah, this does appear closer than a uh, JFK. Okay, you can see that was a bit of a. Right, altitude hold on for the moment. Heading hold not on. I've got a pen that likes to jump, it seems. There's a dash 8 on approach, 5.1 nautical miles away from my aircraft. They were losing altitude a bit, so that's why the aircraft's pitching up. The thing is, once I level off, the aircraft's nose are going to be higher, and therefore we will be gaining altitude. See what I mean? Hey, this does give you a brilliant view of Manhattan. Well, it should, probably, because for a while we were flying like that. Please note, no One World Trade Center there, because by the t when this game was made, the One World Trade Center did not exist. I think it was only in planning stages back in 2006, which was when it was released on Steam or something. Okay, I will just mention, for a decade-old game, this this is really holding up. Now, there's Dash 8, 900 uh, feet in altitude. You will get on the ground before I will. Shouldn't Brooklyn Bridge be along this coast? Because I do believe this is Brooklyn. Or, you know, the one over there. Alright, I'll hold off. Command, I'll hold. So currently, the only function of the autopilot, you know, the auto control system, I'll call it, is auto speed. There he goes. Or auto throttle. That's the proper term. Oh god, with that thing there, there, seeing the indicators as to too high, too low. Yeah. Alright, acknowledge. Large landing clearance. What they just told me is basically just watch out for the Dash 8. Because, you know, I am the larger aircraft. And I am, you know, further back, so I can see him, however, he can't see me. But, um, if you guys saw my video of. Uh, where was it flying from? I believe it was Sing. No, it wasn't Singapore. It was Hong Kong to Chicago. And towards the end, I was kind of getting pissed off at the at the aircraft because it was kind of unstable to fly. And I was like, and I there was an aircraft approaching the runway at Chicago before me, a small Cessna, and I was in a triple seven. And compared to a triple seven, a Cessna is bloody slow. So I kept catching up to it, and I was like, I knew that I couldn't pull back, so I ha what I had to do was I had to kind of leapfrog over it, I had to pitch up. Well, what, first, well, you know, one, that would terrify the pilots, and two, the vortex, you know, the turbulence caused by my aircraft, uh, my 777, oh my god, that looks so horrifying, because, you know, actually, why would you build a highway slash freeway slash whatever you Americans call it, Parallel to the runway. I mean, sure, maybe it's like an emergency if you, if you have premature engine cutoff. So what's with water around most airports? Seriously, is that a natural river? Or is that built, or was, or is that an artificial canal or something? Right, we're too low. Dip, dip, dip. Nice and smooth. We're down. The Dash 8... It just turned off the one way there. I'm going to probably pull these in. Wait, I just popped those again. Never mind, I meant to press this. 
There we go. That's a that's actually a very short landing. I'm not. I think that might be one thing FSX gets wrong is the length of its landings. I mean, I don't think a real life aircraft could stop that that quickly, you know. Right, turning off. Right, getting ready to right, contact Grand on. Large Grand handoff. To New York ground, request taxi to gates. We don't have any aircraft appro aircraft approaching. Gate 23 using taxiway Golf Papa Echo. Oh, Mother Hubbard. On taxiway, on taxiway. I'm sorry, I have to end this on video runway, quickly, so I'll have two, to tax. Two, left, flaps, flaps. On runway, two, Caution two, left, flaps, flaps. Oh. On taxiway, on taxiway. Right, well, I can always hold position. On taxiway, know. on taxiway. Flaps, flaps. On taxiway, on taxiway. Shut on up. taxiway, on taxiway. I'm sorry, I just have to end this video quickly, so I have to do this. But right, we're... Time to park here. Hit the brakes. Let's power off the aircraft. Engine 2, engine 1. The thing is, it's going for that door, but it can't reach it, so forget the jump way. Shift E2. Shift E3. No, shift E4. Anyways, guys, that was a flight from Newark to... Uh, no, from Shannon to Newark. I'm Boston 25. Well, this is 757. I'm Boston 25. Good.